I'm gonna do a quick chicken update. Um, so we're down to two chickens. That skunk came back. Um, you know, it, it knew there was something in there. I didn't scare it off. You know, I, I knew I wouldn't have scared it off, but I've been so busy with my eBay store that I haven't had a chance to, or I didn't, you know, I, I, when I first got the chickens and up until a few weeks ago, or maybe two weeks ago, I was coming out here every night and putting this over their cage after they went in and, um, see them freaking out. They're like traumatized. But so last night, yesterday I, I went to bed at like 3 p.m. and I woke up at like 10 p.m. and I came out here and the chickens, one of them was dead headless in there. Uh, these two were missing and the black, other black one I haven't, I haven't seen that in a while. See what they do they freak the hell out unless i'm right here and even right now that's weird that i'm out here and they're still freaking like um but yeah it's it's but yeah two skunk got those two chickens tonight i'm setting snares i'm gonna do it here after i get done filming this video for you guys i see where the skunk's coming in and going out and I'm gonna set snares. I had I had snares and deadfalls in my or not snares and deadfalls. I had deadfalls in my yard um, until I got the chickens. Um, but that's where I'm pretty sure the skunk's coming in. It's one of these. It's either that or that. But I can set snares at all of these points. And um, but I know when I chase him out, he always goes out this hole. But I'm gonna take some of these weights. I'm gonna make some deadfalls real quick. I'm out of the bigger weights, like the ones on this this weight bench over here. And I'm going to set up some deadfalls and I'm going to put snares on the entrances and exits. Because my chickens are traumatized. And I'm going to remove the threat. Um, see, they'll, they'll keep freaking out until I put this top on it. And probably after too, because they were freaking out when I let them out here. So I'm going to get these chickens situated and taken care of. So, um, and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you got any advice, other than trap advice and stuff, I mean, I, I know how to set traps. I've been working in the woods my whole life, and I've studied survival on my my whole life. Um, but more more advice on the chickens uh like are they traumatized is that why they're freaking out so much are they just wondering where the hell the other two are um you know why did why were these ones smart enough to know to um to run away you know because i found one of them when i came out here and noticed that one dead i found one of them sitting over here cooing on this thing and another one sitting over on the fence over there the chain link and um the black one seemed you know one of them was just in its cage like the skunk came in and killed it ate its head off and then took off with the other black one where the other black ones like a uh, breed that's stupider Shh. hey girls girls here's some food look Hey. Yeah, I can't have them if they're going to be freaking out like this because of noise complaints and stuff. People nowadays just don't come over and say howdy neighbor and, you know, try to help out. They, they call the fucking police like little bitches. And I, I, I mean, I, I don't, wouldn't want chickens screaming in my yard either, but I would go over and ask, you know, what's up with that? Is that going to be a long-term thing? But I highly doubt. I highly doubt. I, I just, I don't need, I don't need that. I don't need a bunch of cop callers. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I got a lot of work to do. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good day.